Today we're going on a global water tour. No passport needed. We're checking out some of the major water bodies and systems around the world. From massive oceans to winding rivers, these water systems are what keep our planet flowing, so let's dive in. First up, let's talk about river systems. Rivers are like nature's highways, moving water from one place to another. But they're not just single streams, they're part of a whole network of smaller rivers and streams called tributaries that all feed into a main river. Take the Amazon River in South America. It's the largest river by volume and it has thousands of tributaries that flow into it, creating the Amazon Basin. This basin is so huge, it's home to the world's largest rainforest. River systems like the Amazon are crucial because they carry water, nutrients, and even people across large areas. Next, we've got drainage basins. Think of a drainage basin like a giant bathtub. Everything that falls into it eventually drains out through a single outlet, usually a river. A famous example is the Mississippi River Basin in the United States. This basin covers about 40% of the continental U.S., meaning rain that falls in places as far apart as Montana and New York might end up flowing into the Mississippi River. Drainage basins are super important because they help manage where water goes and how it flows, making sure that rivers and lakes stay filled and that we don't end up with too much water in one place. Now, let's splash into lakes. Lakes are basically big bowls of water surrounded by land. They can be fresh or salt water, small or massive. The largest lake in the world? That would be the Caspian Sea. Even though it's called a sea, it's actually a lake because it's landlocked. Another cool one is Lake Bacal in Siberia. It's the deepest lake in the world and holds about 20% of the world's unfrozen fresh water. Lakes are important for drinking water, recreation, and they often have their own unique ecosystems. And then there are the oceans. Oceans are the biggest and baddest water bodies out there, covering over 70% of the Earth's surface. We usually break them up into five major ones, the Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Southern, and Arctic oceans. The Pacific Ocean is the largest. It's so big that it's wider than the moon. Oceans are super important because they regulate the Earth's climate, provide food, and are home to millions of species. Plus, they're key to global trade, with ships crisscrossing them every day. So what's the big deal with these water bodies and systems? Well, they're all connected. River systems feed into lakes and oceans. Drainage basins control the flow of water across land, and oceans connect continents and influence weather patterns all over the world. Without these water systems, life on Earth would be totally different, probably impossible. That's it for today's geography lesson. Next time you're near a river, lake, or ocean, think about the incredible systems at work and how they're all part of one big watery world.